hello everyone this is a tutorial for using the CFX manager I will go through all the steps that are required for starting up the software and to do the starting your assay so first thing I will go to start and open the CFX manager based on the computer you're in it might the software might be on the quick launch it could also be on the desktop so you'll see this window click on user defined about 99% of the time you would already have a protocol made this protocol is post based on the company or the batch of cyber green that you're using so in case it's already made click select existing go to the folder and you, so I have made two cybergreen protocols one is for the IQ cybergreen which is a different brand as compared to the SSO cybergreen I've also made a different ones for these two based on what volume of cybergreen of the total reaction I'm using so in, in currently at the time I'm recording this video we are using the SSO cybergreen and we usually go for 20 microliters so I would double click on this and that's your protocol in, in a very off chance you don't have a protocol ready and you want to make one you would go and click on create new and here are all the settings that you can change make sure you read the manual that came with your cyber green kit and the manual would tell you what all settings need to be put here so for now I already have a protocol now go to the plate here you're going to set you're going to explain to the software how you set up your plate so plate click on edit selected now here first thing you want to do is select everything by clicking here at this point and clear wells now let's say I had a layout where I select I used all 96 of my wells so I would select all 96 of my wells sample type let's say unknown I have unknown if you had some standard let's say if you had these two as standards you could put a standard if you had a no template control NTC you could also put that if you have a no reverse transcript taste control in RD you could also put anywhere I would just assume everything is unknown for me right now and so that's the first part you select your sample type next you want to tell the software which dies are you using so if you if you select if you have the qpcr instrument connected to, to this computer at this time which you will have it uh, you will not see all these fluorophores the the instrument that we are using is the cfx cfx connect 96 and it only supports one fluorophore which is cyber green so the reason it's showing me all these other four forces because I'm not connected to the instrument at this point so I'll manually collect can just select cyber green so next thing after sample type you want to tell the software which floor for you loaded so it's cyber green select cyber green here now you want to tell the software what all primers do you load so your target is the same as the primer or the gene you're looking for let's say I loaded all gap DH in, in, in all of these wells I've selected. So I'll select all these and write gap DH. Remember, whatever you write here, it doesn't matter to the software, it's just for your identification. If you write something like gap DH123, the software won't call it invalid. It, 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 it's just an identifier for you to know. Now let's say I have just one more gene which was um, I'll just say gene one. Let's press enter. Okay. Now let's say I have twelve different samples, each in different pro, uh, columns. So I will select this column. Now the next part after selecting a target is to select the sample name. The sample is your temp is your the source of your RNA template. So remember, this is the gene, this is the source of your RNA template. Now, 
let's say this was my sample number one this was my sample number two and you can put your sample number and so on it is with whatever you can you can write these numbers uh, these, these don't have to be numbers they can be text as well whatever helps you identify them the best and now let's say I ran these uh, samples in in replicates so I have all of these four are replicates so I need to tell the software that these are replicates and not separate of uh, separate objects so I will select all these I make sure they are in a pattern so if you if you see here from here everything that's the four wells that are in one one column are replicates and the next four are replicates so I'll go to replicate series since my replicates are arranged in vertical and not horizontal I'll click on vertical my replicate size is four and I want to start my replicate number from number one and click apply so you can see the unknowns are given numbers now unknown one unknown two all unknown ones are replicates and unknown two are the replicates the ones that have not been numbered they are just separate entities so based on your assay you can number these and and this is replicate series is most usually the last part you can also include which which gene out of all the genes you've selected is your reference gene or your housekeeping gene whichever you are using as a reference but it can also be done after the assay is run so it's not required at this point i will just select it no it's not required at this point now you'll go to file save as this will be your plate file you can save it as any name whichever whatever helps you identify i'll save it trial I'll click ok so that's my trial plate and and you're almost set now you would want to click on start run open click on open lid yeah op that will open the the CFX connect instrument you would put your 96 well plate in there make sure it's firmly firmly there click on close lid as soon as you close the lid the software will detect that the lid is closed and this button should light up you will click on start run it will give you an option to save your file the result file you will save it with whatever name you want and that's it that starts your qpcr reaction i would normally suggest that you give the plate file and the result file the same name so that it's easier to match them later on but it's 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 otherwise it's up to your wish and yeah also remember there's a different file for plate this this file tells you how was the plate set up the result file will tell you the expression levels so do not confuse between them and that's how you use cfx uh, cfx manager for the cfx connect 96 instrument thank you